Hello Big Max, welcome back to another reaction video. So, it has been a while since I feel like I've said those words, and I'm finally glad to say it for this band that I know for probably a few years at this point, people have been asking about and for me to react to, and I'm finally here reacting to Dexcore. I'm kind of excited for this one, but I'm also kind of nervous because I feel like it could go either way of loving it or hating it. But uh, I get this comment a lot on all of my like visual K for like Devaloof. I've been getting a lot of comments on them. And then when lurking up Dexcore, I got reminded of Nocturnal Bloodlust. And I feel like I haven't reacted to them in a while. So that's getting added. That's just a sidecar for any of you. So if you have songs for them, let me know in the comments down below. But today is about Dexcore. And all I know is that they are in the same vein as Devaloof. So... I'm excited, but nervous because as I said, it could go either of a love it or hate it. But I also feel like it's been a while since I've done a full reaction to any kind of band like this, like a Visual K group. So here we are. And many of you have so long been asking for this. So again, here we are. <laughs> Before we get into this Big Max, if you're not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe. If you enjoy this video, click that thumbs up. If you have any comments of anything that you want me to react to, listen to any fun stuff or just any comment, whatever, leave it in the comments down below. Also, if you want to hang out while I do this live from time to time, links will be in the description down below. But that's essentially it. I'm kind of excited, as I said, so I just really want to get into this. I had to go on to Last FM to find information on this group, so that's kind of interesting. <laughs> so let's just get into the information and some pictures and then into the music. So for information, as I said, I had to go on to Last FM, but essentially Dexcore is a Visual K metalcore deathcore band from... Nagoya, Japan, uh, by X. Death Gaze is another band that is on the list because I know some of you have been telling me about them as well, but Death Gaze drummer uh, began recruiting members in early 2016. The new band was unveiled at their first live event at Vistoke, whatever, you know, I'm assuming it's a Visual K Festival, in 2016. Dexcore's bassist Tetsu left the group in 2016, or before you join. So they had some people leave in October, announced that they would release their first full album in 2020. Oh, interesting. Wait, so they started in 2016 and didn't release an album until 2020. Interesting. Dexcore announced founding member drummer was leaving the band due to musical differences after their final performance. Oh my God. So they seem to have a lot of drum of people like coming in, leaving, going all over the place again this makes me a bit more nervous that's like everyone's kind of all over the place there's a lot more here but i just don't want to read it <laughs> so let, let's just look at some pictures so we've got some deathcore metalcore visual k uh and some drama within the band but yeah just as expected they look like what i was expecting just look like they will be able to kill me by just looking at me you know probably less pixelated if, you know, things wanted to, you know, there we go. They got a cool look to them. Hair is, for every Visual K group, their hair is always on point. And as you can tell, I'm wearing a hat, so I don't know what that's like. Yeah, they look pretty cool. I got no complaints. This kind of gave me Mind Freak vibes. <laughs> kind of as expected. Kind of what I was expecting to look from them. So, essentially, in terms of songs that we are going to be reacting to, I went through the comments on YouTube, and some of you said Brainwashing, Earth, and Savior. But the main ones that I saw, I saw that someone who, surprisingly, their name is K-Pop Forever 65, <laughs> said that I need to watch Brainwashing and Earthworm in that order. So we're going to start with Brainwashing, and then go Earthworm, and then Savior. And I also think that's like in terms of like oldest to newest, that's essentially that. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of excited, kind of nervous. I'm still stuffed up in the nose, so I apologize if I sound like a weird Squidward uh, at the moment in time, but you know, that's just the way that life works. So again, kind of hoping that with some deathcore, things get rattled around and things just fall out of my face. <laughs> but <laughs> that's besides the point. So I'm kind of nervous and excited. I feel like my face could melt off, which is going to be a good thing. But I think we just finally, after years of this, get into it. So here we go, Big Max. Here is Dexcore with brainwashing. I'm nervous. Am I going to get brainwashed? Actually, I'm fine with it. It's fine. This brain's not being used for anything else. So, okay, not what I was expecting the intro to be.
They're tricking. I know I'm getting tricked. I have to be getting tricked. Ooh. Ooh. That kick. Okay. I'm already kind of a fan. Ryan's a fan. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have the effect of like, my visual K death metal is the only time my brain shuts up and I can't speak. Hold on, hold on. What? <laughs> He's got the voice of a devil and an angel all in one. Was not expecting the singing part. The intro threw me off, but this is... Okay. Oh, I like his voice. This is what I mean, with Visual K, you never know what you're gonna get. Back into it. I wanna hear that chorus again. Ooh. I like this breakdown. This is, I love this chorus. His voice is insane. I was expecting it to be way heavier. This is a pleasant surprise. This piano is so, this piano is so beautiful. How did it go from so beautiful to so dirty? I'm impressed. Ooh. Okay. Talking about going from so beautiful to dirty. This is sick. I want to hear this again. Okay. I know that the songs can continue. I need to hear that part again. So dirty. I am a big fan of this. Sold on one song that I haven't even finished listening to yet. Are we getting another breakdown? Oh my god. Oh, they changed all blood. It changed all black, I was gonna say, but fuck, dude, oh my god. <laughs> you can't, you can't, no, you can't. I refuse to let you do that. <laughs> you can't, you can't do that. <laughs> it's not allowed. <laughs> so 
sick. It goes from so dirty to so beautiful that my mind's like, what's happening? Do I even need to be here anymore? If there's another breakdown, then... okay. Okay, good, because my brain, my brain could not handle that. I think I have been brainwashed because I'm already fucking sold. I think I was sold within like 30 seconds of this song. Oh my god. We're, we're at that point again where like, present Ryan is annoyed by past Ryan for having seen comments for like years saying reacting to, react to Dexcore and he's waited till now to do it. But oh my fucking god. Like I was expecting it to be like just very heavy the entire time. And I think by now you would have expected me to have learned that like visual K. Just you never know what you're going to get. It is literally a box of chocolates. <laughs> Two insane back to back breaks downs. Like, I thought that this would have just been the breakdown, but they're like, this is the pre-breakdown. The pre-breakdown into the real breakdown. That's, it's just too good. So I'm already sold. <laughs> I've already been brainwashed and I'm fine with it. This is brainwashing that I'm okay with. Um, fan of Dexcore. <laughs> so I, I don't know what else I really need to say. I don't think I need to say anything else. I'm already sold on Dexcore. I know, like, let's just move on. <laughs> I, again, this is just solely based off of one song. 100% sold already. So let's just move on. <laughs> so next up, Big Max is Earthworm. And this is featuring Makito from Victim of Deception. Don't know who that is, but I now just have very high expectations of Dexcore. And again, a question that I ask for many bands that I've been reacting to listen recently. How? How? How is this not popular? They're better than so many. Again, this is just based off of one song, but they sound so much better than so many bands that I know that are so popular. I'm like, I don't get it. Uh, anyway. That's a whole other video in itself. Anyway, so <laughs> let's just go into Earthworm. I'm excited now. So here it is, Big Max. Here's Dexcore with Earthworm. God, I don't know what to expect now. Oh, okay. Yep. See, was not expecting like this. Someone sample this and make some sick rap song. Are we going to start with a breakdown? I don't know if I can handle another breakdown so quickly right now. <laughs> I'm I I don't know what to say. I love these like ghost file sounds. Oh, 
Here we go. This is so good. I like the blackout tattoo, if that's actually real too. I know that they, they, they swear in English, which is great for me. <laughs> Something's gonna happen, isn't it? I'm on edge with this band now. Ooh. Oh, you got the blah. If you throw a blah in a song, I'm gonna like it. It's so good. Ooh. This kick is I love I love the drum sounds. Man, how are they not more popular? This is insane. I'm like nervous listening to these songs, but in a good way. Just because I don't know what to expect. I love their EQs, EQ effects, and like breaks. I love this like found footage vibe to this song and video. Okay, I'm impressed by his voice too, and I feel like I need to add hit the band to the list. See, this is the sound that I was expecting everything to sound like. So good. It's so dirty. I like how this song is just going constantly as well. It's this is a fucking journey. I forgot that there's a chorus. <laughs> this feels like a good rage song.
his screams are really they're up there i forgot that's how this this is how the song started dude insane insane like i that was six almost seven minutes oh my god again already sold on dexcore more sold on them now uh gonna subscribe thank you um i i don't think i need to say anything that i will say uh i love the like the vibe of this entire song and video was like very found footage horror and like even the beginning of it, it kind of sounded like it could be like an intro to one of those songs like ghost hunt videos or shows and then even just like the video itself had that kind of aesthetic to it it's it's just too good and then you have fucking who this dude from victim of deception Like, it's fucking truly impressive. I was expecting, I think, the entire, like, even the last song to sound more so like this. Um, but fuck, man. So good. Uh, I don't know, again, really what else to say because I'm just, again, impressed. We're two for two. Fuck. If, is it Dexcore, you have a new fan, a new subscriber, someone who wants to see you live now because I'm very intrigued to see what kind of show you put on. But the, again, this is only after two songs. So we still have one more song to go. And the last song is Savior. I don't know what to expect anymore. <laughs> there was no singing in the last song that my brain can remember. Singing in the first one, who knows what this third one's going to entail. So I just I just want to get into it purely because I don't want to talk anymore. And I just want to hear Dexcore. So <laughs> here we go, Big Max. Here is Dexcore with Savior. Oh, man, I don't know what to expect anymore. I like their logo, too. I'm scared now because it's starting off beautiful. We're starting it again. Was not expecting it to start this way, but sure. God damn it, Dexcore. I wanna be alone, a shot for a while. The world one so it does it does seem like it would be a it could be a boy band song. But so let me alone and all the strikes you think come deeper to act like you know. Oh, right, now they have a new drummer now. Are those strings in the back? This is sick. How is this not more popular? Sorry. Where's my golden buzzer? Dude, I wish this stuff would play on the radio, man. This is sick. I love that snare.
Their breakdowns are so good. I love Hold on. So I love how they use the like screams as a pause like a break. In just the middle of a breakdown, they just stop all other instruments and let the scream go. I love it. Okay, so far they haven't made a bad song. <laughs> and then we get to the death metal. God, they're really fucking good. I keep forgetting he can sing like an angel. Damn, that's that's it. Just damn. I feel like just after hearing those three songs, Dexcore has jumped up the list of bands that I like that I reacted to because all of those songs, oh my God, are insane. Very pleasantly surprised. I was expecting it to be insanely heavy the entire time. I wasn't expecting any singing like a goddamn angel. I wasn't anticipating all these different style changes in songs. I'm very pleasantly surprised. And uh, that's that's like all I can do. So Dexcore, you have a new fan. It's this, this dude right here. Please don't stop making music. I need to listen to everything that you've had now because these three songs have sold me 100% on Dexcore and I just need to hear more. So Dexcore Canada tour when? Just even the whole vibes of everything, I'm a fan of. They swear in English, I can understand it. <laughs> but dude, oh my god, I how? Just how, how are they not more popular in this scene? Like, absolutely insane. It doesn't make sense to me. Anytime I hear bands like this, and then they have like, they only have 34,000. I have more subscribers than this band, which is, no. <laughs> I do not accept this. That is absolutely insane. I see so many more videos. I've subbed to their channel, don't worry, but I want to watch so many more because everything that I heard, I liked. So I'm a fan of Dexcore. Thank you, thank, again, thank you Big Macs for just constantly telling me th for years to listen to Dexcore. I apologize that it took me this long, but I understand it was so good. <laughs> so I don't know what else to say. This band is insane. I don't know what to expect from them. Everything is good. I love the like screen breaks and their breakdowns. I love how they had a pre breakdown to a breakdown. I like how they also have voices of angels. They threw in some strings. They had a scream battle. Like so much happened in these three songs that it is amazing and I'm still processing it and I loved every second of it. So 
that's my review for Dexcore. <laughs> but yeah, so there you have it, Big Max. Again, that is me reacting to Dexcore, and I'm amazed. If none of you have heard of Dexcore before, like me filming this, please correct that wrong like I'm doing right now. But if you have heard of them, please recommend more songs. If you, again, haven't heard of them, let me know what you thought in the comments down below. Um, because I think everyone in chat too is just impressed. So I don't even know what faces I made <laughs> in this video. And I feel like a lot of them were very dirty. If you enjoyed this video, thumbs up, subscribe, all that fun stuff. If you have any recommendations as well for me, leave it in the comments down below. And if you want to hang out while I do this live from time to time, links will be in the description down below. I just need a minute to like process everything. <laughs> so I'm going to end this video here. Big Max, thank you so much for the recommendations and for watching this video. I hope that you did enjoy it and I will see you next time. Bye.